Hello, welcome. Harry the Snack Guy here. Today's episode is featuring something that's a little bit underrepresented on the channel, and that is a, a snack cake. There's definitely a classification of snacks that are, you know, sweet, zerty type snacks. It's just that I tend to go for savory, salty stuff, so that's I have a bias towards them. But yeah, today's video is Hostess Ding Dong's Cross Twinkies, or as I like to call them, Dwink Kongs or Dinkies. Twinkies, twin dongs, all of these are good. And all of those sound dirty and probably why Hostess didn't name them that. Hey, future Harrison here. Thank you to Laura for getting me this package of Hostess Ding Dong Cross Twinkies. Back to the video. So it's supposed to be, I guess, the outer exterior of the Ding Dong and then the inner of the Twinkie. And oh, I was not expecting this. I was expecting like a twin pack. So that's first surprise. They're in the singular, singular snack cake. Correct me if I'm wrong, and please do, because I don't really eat a lot of these snack cakes, but I thought Twinkies came in twin packs and I thought Ding Dongs came in twin packs. So a bit interesting to see it just in one. Uh, what I'm gonna do though, is I'm going to cut it open, show you, sniff test, eat, life's good. Okay. Kind of as advertised. Wow, that like vanilla sponge cake smell, just nostalgia, just bringing me back. I Like I said, I don't eat a lot of sna desserty snack cakes anymore. I would love to know, by the way, if you're watching this, if you know of any brands that do like alternative dairy-free snack cakes, would love to know about them. But uh, anyways, yeah, that smell, that smell brings me back. So let's, um, let's try a bite. I forgot to mention, cannot remember the last time I had a Twinkie or a Ding Dong. The chocolate tastes good. The cream tastes good. The sponge cake, I guess, tastes fine, but it was a bit tougher to chew than what memory or like my memory of um, eating a Twinkie. It was a bit more. When they say sponge cake, I don't think they literally mean it should have the texture and and um, feeling of eating a literal sponge, but that's kind of what it felt like. I really like the chocolate that's in that, or I guess I should say on that. But that chocolate's good. I like that. I got a little bit better taste of the sponge that time. The sponge cake. And uh, yeah, it's it's decent. It's definitely decent. I'm going to finish the whole thing. Why not? Here we go. The outside chocolate has a bit of a stiff texture. Which I like. I'm not complaining. Just uh, it's like it's it's a bit hard. These, I I when I used to eat snack cakes, I used to freeze them a lot. These I think would be really good frozen. Overall thoughts, I like them. I think they're worth the seek out. That might, but like with the asterisks of, I really haven't had snack cakes a lot. So like my, my palate isn't really attuned to like the highs and lows of the snack cake industry or like the market, but I like them. It reminds me that like, you know, they exist. These, these snack cakes exist and like not to ignore them. Yeah, I, I'm curious to see if Hostess has other mashup snack cakes because that that's a kind of a unique or a, a fun thing that they're doing yeah go get them all right everybody do all the things you're supposed to do like this video subscribe to the channel leave a comment below if you've had these or if there's other snack cakes you'd like to recommend and also share this video uh, share the video on whatever social media email whatever word of mouth let people know and i will catch you next time bye